Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Al Brad, and today I want to show you how to make this paper mask. It's me, really. Halloween coming up, maybe, or you've got Mardi Gras, or you've got Day of the Dead, or just a fancy dress party, and you want to make a quick paper mask, then this is the way to do it. We've got some templates for you to download if you check the description below. This is my original scrubby old card template that I have traced around onto a nice piece of clean card and I've simply die cut the holes so they fit my eyes. What you might want to do when you're making a mask is if you make a rough and then cut the holes according to where your eyes sit because not everybody's eyes are in the same place, they're more or less in the same place in your head but people have a different distance between their eyes. You'll also notice on there that there are some slits here that you just need to clip and that's all you need to do with them for the minute. Because once you've got your mask template, you want to cut some concentric circles. I've got scalloped ones here to make the, out, the outline of the owl's eyes. Try saying that quickly, it's impossible. Cut your circular holes to fit your eye holes and then don't glue the whole thing, just glue the centre to here. You'll see why in a minute. But essentially I want to leave the outside rim so that I can tuck feathers underneath it as need be. So we glue them in place. And then I've cut a beak shape from yellow card using the template that's downloadable and I'm simply going to score about five mil from this edge clip away this bit here and score that fold line fold that score line even up going to use some tacky glue so that it dries quickly. And if you bend your beak, pop it underneath the nose hole and then allow it just to open up so it sits under there. Once you've done that bit you can now do darts and the darts are here to make sure that your mask actually fits comfortably on your head and it just doesn't sit there like a, a flat piece of card. So just squeeze them together like so. You know when you get all your crafting supplies together and you sit down for a, for a good afternoon of crafting and there's always one thing that you forget? Well, the one thing I forgot today was pegs, which would be really handy in a project like this, just to hold this together while the glue dries. I think I might go away with it, but I'm not 100% sure. So you can see you've got that mask that then curves away in the same shape as your head. Before you carry on decorating, you need to punch some holes inside to thread with elastic or ribbon so that you can actually secure it to your head. And then once you've got your basic mask shape, then you can get on with the fun bit, which is cutting feathers. So all those odd scraps of card that you've got at home that you've just done a bit of punching out of or a bit of layering and they're all left over, grab yourself some pieces of card Fold them in half and use one of our feather templates. It's three sizes of three sizes of feather template. And just draw around these feathers on the fold. Cut them out with a pair of scissors. Just like so. And then just clip into the top, stopping, 
couple of mil from the quill because otherwise you'll just chop the top of your feather off and then you can curl that up like this and what you'd need to do really is you want to make feathers in pairs because you want a symmetrical design but this first feather is going to go on the top of the head so start in the middle with this feather and I've got a couple of blue ones here and I'm just going to glue these what I really need to craft is a little stand that keeps my glue pot upside down so that the glue is always ready to come out when I need it And then just build up layers of feathers. Now you don't want them all facing towards the back. You just need a few of them facing towards the back. So you can have some so that they overlap. Like so. I've just got glue all over my fingers there, but never mind, eh? And build up the, the top of the head like this, and then what I was going to say, the reason that I've left it so that you don't glue all the way around the eye hole, is if you then get some smaller feathers, glue the end, you can just tuck them underneath the eyes, and it's a much neater finish, you don't see the ends of your feathers. And that's the other reason why I only glue this part of the feather. Because if you do this, then subsequent layers of feathers behind it, oh, could you say, you can tuck again under there. So cut as many feathers as you need. As I say, we have got templates. If you find you need smaller, temp uh, smaller sized feathers, it's really not difficult to, to just shrink down that template to do so. And then hopefully when you've used your myriad feathers that you've got here in all those colours of card that you've cut out from all those scraps of card that you've kept because you wanted to do something with them, you can create a mask that's like this that then fits perfectly for Halloween. Or if owls aren't your thing, we have also provided you templates so that you can do a Day of the Dead skull mask as well. So we'd like to see how you get on, please let us know, please share your photographs with us. Check the description below so you can get the templates and join us next time. Thanks. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.